So the design is a patent pending focus design. It's three hangs of K2 that are identical at the center, flanked by two hangs of Kara outside of that, which compromise the scene system. Outside of that, there are four identical hangs of Kara as well for our extension system. And then we have a central subwoofer configuration in a pretty unique end fire configuration in front of the K2. This allows us to have even distribution of low frequency energy across the venue, while having excellent coverage of the K2 and the Kara hangs, as well as our traditional outfill hangs for the side. Once the basic loudspeaker design was done, the team then uses L Acoustic Sound Vision to take that basic loudspeaker design and import it into the specific venue they're going to be in for the night. It's just a matter of dropping in a template of the Elisa system that we're using and shifting around the, uh, the angles between the boxes to cover from front to back. Sightline-wise, this is actually much improved versus a traditional design. So even though there are more loudspeaker groups, they are shorter. They're not as tall as traditional loudspeaker hang. So we're able to have five hangs, but they hang above the stage. So this allows us to have actually much improved sight lines from all angles of the arena. From the points being up to the system being in the air is about 90 minutes. So we have five hangs, so there is a few more loudspeakers to hang. However, L Acoustics number one has some pretty fantastic rigging that makes things very quick and easy to go up. Uh, tuning the system is actually pretty uh, similar to tuning a left-right PA. There are 11 drive lines from front of house to the amplifiers. So all the equalization is done in Network Manager or on the channel strips. 